Arsan Rajan was born in uh, December of 2004. That's when we found out that uh, he has uh, an, an anorectal malformation. It was very exciting to know that Dr. Pena was going to start a colorectal center, and that's when we were totally convinced that all his future care, we decided, you know, would be through him. The colorectal center at Cincinnati Children's Hospital is the first of its kind. In the early 1980s, Dr. Pena developed the approach that all surgeons today use for anorectal malformations and cloaca anomalies and has dealt with every issue that it, we come across. I felt the need to collaborate with other uh, very specialized uh, doctors in the problems that my patients suffer from. Dr. Pena had a real um, insight into the idea of working together as a team considering that anorectal malformations are associated with many um, urinary and urogenital tract anomalies as well, including a team that also had urologists, gynecologists, GI docs, social workers, strong nurses. The family would see us as one unit rather than as individual specialists. And I think that has really changed the level of care that we're able to provide for these children and their families. A patient who might need to see the gynecologist or the urologist or the gastrointestinal doc, we arrange all of that in their one visit. Our job is to listen, obtain all the data and information, process that, and come up with a coordinated plan that is specific to your child. They're known to work with you, so you're not going to feel alone. Just knowing that, it gives you a lot of strength. We are going to be with you throughout your child's development when it's time to change to solid foods, when it's time to potty train, when it's time to go to school and need to be in clean underwear, uh, when it's time to go away to college. We're here to help you and your child go through these developmental stages. Our collaborative physicians are so good at being able to speak to a mom and dad about um, kind of a road map. This is what these next six months will look like and then this is what will happen in the next two or three years and this is what happens at puberty. To us it's a journey and we want the families to understand that we're there to walk in along with them during that journey and make them feel safe and that their child is going to be well cared for. We have incredible nurses. There's not many questions that they can't answer, so the families are very comfortable reaching out to our nurses. They can make your child feel like he's the only one on that floor. They're going above and beyond. When the child is born, of course, it's, it's a very difficult time to just accept the fact that your child has um, yeah, any kind of you know, condition, especially one that's a chronic condition that's going to require a lot of care. Parents are going to be very disheartened when they get the news, but uh, to us, after being through this journey, I, I think the one big thing that I would like to say is that, you know, they can be disheartened, but they should not be discouraged. When you talk to a mom and she cries because you're the first person that really understood what she was talking about, it's just an amazing feeling. For me, it's quite rewarding. I have pictures of little girls now turned into young women, and now graduation announcements, prom pictures in these beautiful dresses and them having like the biggest smile that you can imagine. Well, I think all of us take great joy in the happiness of a child. And uh, you know, if we can help that child in a small way achieve happiness, we've achieved our mission. They gave our son this opportunity to have a wonderful future and um, you can't ask for more than that. Mm -hmm.